Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Mix. So yesterday I made a quick video introducing uh, my approach to designing this hyperbolic slot display. Um, that's the name I'm going with, that's the name I see uh, where it's referred to in, in museums. Um, so I talked about my inspiration for wanting to create this and how it's kind of been this project in my mind that I've really uh, been wanting to work on. So I created this model here and today what I wanted to talk about is how easy it is in Fusion 360 to create these gears. So let me uh, just kind of show, uh, actually let me just remove the outside frame here and you can see I've got these two bevel gears here. Um, now designing these from scratch would be uh, a huge pain but Fusion makes it really easy because it's got beautiful integration with the McMaster car catalog. So not only can you bring in these models uh, into your design, but you can also amend them to kind of fit the right application you're looking for. So really quick, I just want to show how I do that in this design. And also, if you're wanting to um, follow me along as I create this, I'm actually going to be uh, introducing this design into my uh, weekly online live class. And I talked a little bit about that in my um, last video, so you can watch that to kind of uh, hear a little more in the details. But basically, we're going to work on this for the next few weeks, and uh, it's really going to allow me to teach a lot of really neat design concepts. Um, so the live class meets every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you're interested in joining, I'm running a promotion where I've got the link below, and you can check it out. You also get a uh, access to all the recordings so if you can't make it live you can still uh, listen uh, at, and follow along at your own pace so okay let me um, start a new design here to, to show you this really cool uh, uh, aspect here fusion 360 so first of all um, what I want to stress is that before you bring in a McMaster car component uh, you want to make sure that your top level of your components here is activated in this case, it really doesn't matter because I don't have anything else here. But if you got multiple components, you want to make sure that the top level is activated. Otherwise, if you have a different component activated, it'll nest that model, or I should say that component into an existing component. So uh, just make sure that's activated. And then we're going to go to insert, insert McMaster car component. And if you know your part number, you can simply type it here. But I'll just go ahead and, and type gears, for example, since we're looking for gears. You can expand this by just kind of dragging it out. And you can look at all the different gears they have here, and they've got a lot. Um, so let me just click Metal Bevel Gears here. And on the left column here, you can sort this um, you know, by selecting what you're looking for. So uh, we can filter this out. Let's say I want a metric gear there, and let's say uh, I can keep going down. Outer diameter here, let's say I know I want it to be uh, about 60 millimeters, so I'll click on that. And you can keep filtering or you can kind of just scroll here to see your results. So uh, we've got um, you know some results here and I can see these details. And I'll go straight here to this number here. You'll see it's blue, you can click on it. If you want more information, you can click on the product detail. But if you wanna just go ahead and download it into your model, make sure to click on this little drop down arrow here and click on 3D step, because we're gonna download a step file. Click download and Fusion will bring that right in to your design. So we can see here if I go to a front view, uh, maybe a right view here, um, the way it's positioned and we get our little move widget here. I'm going to take this and rotate it 90 degrees because I want it to be uh, facing down like that. I'll click OK. Where I want to get to is take this design and make it like this part here. So let me just isolate this for a minute. And so to get here, I'll show you how we can go about that. The really, really neat feature here is uh, the delete key works really well. Uh, but before I make any changes here, I'm now going to activate this component. So that way everything I create will be in its own neat timeline. So what I want to start with is just deleting some features. And there's a right order you want to go about this. I found that you want to start with like chamfers or fillets first. So I want to delete this whole top surface here, or this whole top section to give me the flat bottom here. So I'll start with deleting this chamfer. And next I want to delete this hole, but you know, first there's a, ch a chamfer down here, I'll delete that as well. Now that I've got both chamfers deleted, I can go ahead and delete this hole. And now that the hole's deleted, I can delete the cylinder by just clicking on that surface and delete. So delete key works beautiful here. 
Uh, next, I'll um, to create this part right here, I'll just create a sketch on this top surface, capture position, and I'll create a center diameter circle here, right off the center there. I know that this is positioned right on the center. And I'm going to go out uh, 89 millimeters and hit enter. If you're not getting a center reference, you can simply hit P for project, project one of the circles here, this one for example, and it will go ahead and give you a little purple, a uh, little dot right on the center that you can reference. All right, finish that sketch, E for extrude. I'm just gonna select both of these profiles. The way I wanna extrude this is I want this to go one millimeter up and two millimeters down. So I'm gonna change the, um, uh, let's see, the direction here from one side to two sides. And uh, not, I don't want symmetric because I want two different distances. So I'm gonna go up one millimeter. I'll just type that in. And I'm gonna go down two millimeters and I'll type that in. And because I'm going through the part, it thinks I want to cut. So I'm going to change the operation from cut to join. Click OK. And there we have it. It's as simple as that. I've made that gear into this one part here. That's going to work really well with the rest of my model here, um, as you see. So uh, just wanted to show that part today. Um, but you can really, I mean, it doesn't have to be with just gears. You can bring in other parts. and. And you don't always have to model, um, you know, start modeling from scratch. You can uh, take advantage of the sort of deleting features and the ability to work with step files to, um, you know, sort of integrate them with your own designs and, and modify them in Fusion 360. Just one of the really neat features here with this uh, um, the software that I really love. Um, but yeah, just a quick, simple tutorial today. Just wanted to show you that part. Um, and yeah, play with it, take advantage of it. It's a lot of fun. And I'm going to show a lot more of this in uh, the full course I'm going to do. So like I said, I've got the link below if you want to know more info. Um, any questions, leave it in the comments below and I will see you in the next tutorial.